Any kind of pork tenderloin, peach glazed pork tenderloin. Pam is here uh, to walk us through this recipe. It's one of their favorites uh, at Buffalo Mountain. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having us. Well, um, talk about this and, and the peach glaze and kind of the, t the taste that it adds. Okay, um, well, let me start off with talking about pork. Yeah. Um, when you do your pork, a lot of people say it turns out dry or a little chewy. You need to brine your pork just like you would do a turkey or chicken or anything else. Um, you would do it with your salt mm -hmm. and water. Do, depending on the size of your pork, probably two hours. You can do it up to overnight and it'll break it down to make it a lot tender for her. So you won't have to deal with chewy exactly. pork. And so that's your number one thing okay. anytime you do a pork. Why um, do you like pork? Yes. And you like to eat it with what? Ranch. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not bring this, but I stole we it out of your kitchen <laughs> refrigerator here. So what? You're set. Okay. After. You're, you're going to be good. So <laughs> you're going to make the glaze for us? Is that what you're going to show us? Yes, that's today? what I'm okay. going to show you how to do. Um, we've already started a little bit, and Wyatt's already talked through a few of them. Wyatt, what we had done already was butter. We had done two tablespoons. We heated it up over here. It's okay. a little warm. Um, two tablespoons of butter. Mm -hmm. And then we did two cloves of garlic and red pepper flakes. Do you like anything spicy? Yes. Yes, okay. I like well, mild spicy. Mild, mild spicy. spicy, well. How do you these, feel about jalapeno? Um, it's not my favorite. Not your favorite? Well, this just goes into the glaze, and so okay. um, we have seeded our jalapenos and taken the, deveined them, basically. So, so we took all the really spot. spicy, spicy yeah. stuff okay. out of it, and we've already put it in there. Do you like peaches? Um, no. not much. <laughs> You know, can't win all of them, can That's we? Okay. Um, then we would add peach preserves. You would do a half cup with this. Mm -hmm. And since I don't think you're 21 and we're not, not allowed to open this with you, um, we're not going to do that. It's already cooked down and so we don't have not. to worry about it. You're not? <laughs> well, that's great. I, I thought Foxy said you were, but you know. He, he, he did. <laughs> oh, it was your little brother, wasn't it? It's been one. <laughs> he tried to. Oh, I gotcha. Anyway, we would cook this down and we would okay. cook all the alcohol all out. Okay. Do you like painting? Yes. All right. Well, you can do that. We've already, um, after we have done all of this, we would take in our pork loins. We would put them in the oven at 400 degrees. Okay. Um, we would cook them until, if anybody has a little thermometer like this, you would cook it until it registers 150 okay. or there approximately. Um, put it over a foil. Mm -hmm. And then after you let it set for about 10 minutes, this is where you could come in and help us. We're going to let you finish this can off you, as we, yes. we paint. Our number one thing here is the flavor. So okay. Okay. you will be painting the pork. As he paints the pork, remind us where you're located. We're at C05 Oak Ridge Turnpike, Buffalo Mountain Grill. Now, do you serve this at the restaurant? No, we're actually doing a gala for St. Mary's um, School in Oak Ridge, and okay. we're going to be having this at the gala. It's oh, one wonderful. of their entrees. And so. Oh, what's well, fantastic and an easy dish you can make at home for dinner. We thank yeah. you so much for coming on. Well, thank you for having us, and thank you for your help. You're awesome. Great thank job. You. I think he's helped his mom a couple of times in the kitchen. It looks like it. I know.